80% of the world's energy is being produced by polluting sources. According to the World Energy Council, wave energy on its own can produce twice the amount of electricity that the world produces now. Can you imagine the change that we can cause in the world with twice the amount of electricity from clean energy sources like the waves? I'm Ina Braverman, founder and CEO of EcoWave Power. Our company developed an innovative technology for generation of clean electricity from ocean and sea waves. EcoWave Power's technology is very unique because we decided to implement our floaters in the onshore and nearshore zone. We attach floaters to existing man-made structures such as piers, breakwaters, jetties and other types of structures. The floaters are going up and down with the movement of the wave, pushing a hydraulic cylinder which transmits biodegradable fluid into land-located accumulators. A pressure is being built, the higher the wave, the higher the pressure, turning hydromotor, turning generator and sending clean electricity to the grid. We're 100% environmentally friendly. We take something that was already built and disturbed the environment and turn it into a source of clean electricity. The advantages of wave energy in comparison to other renewable energy sources is first of all in the fact that it can produce 24-7. Another advantage is that 60% of the world's population are living within 200 kilometers from a coastline. So the need for wave energy is undeniable. Ecowave power is really my passion because of my personal story. I was born in Ukraine in 1986. Two weeks after I was born, the Chernobyl nuclear reactor exploded. I was one of the babies that got hurt from the negative effects of the explosion. My mother approached my crib, she looked down and I was pale and blue and not breathing. So then my mom gave me a mouth to mouth resuscitation and basically saved my life. So I grew up with this feeling of purpose. I got a second chance in life and I really wanted to do something good with it. When I finished my university, I discovered the whole interesting, magical world of renewable energies. The idea of installing the technology onshore or nearshore came from the fact that I really recognized the prevailing problems that offshore power stations had to handle. In Gibraltar, we built our first grid-connected power station. In Israel, in Jaffa port, we connected our second grid-connected power station to the Israeli national electrical grid. That's the first time in the history of Israel that the Israeli electrical company connected wave energy to the grid. So it's really a groundbreaking technology. The next project that we're planning to build is in the port of Los Angeles. And our first commercial scale, large project, will be in the city of Porto in Portugal. We're starting construction in the next few months. This will be the first time in the history of the world that wave energy will actually become profitable and produce more energy than other renewable energy sources such as wind and solar. When the Chernobyl nuclear disaster happened, the whole world came together. Everybody sent help. Everybody wanted to stop the nuclear from leaking out and causing damage. Right now, climate change is killing much more people than Chernobyl ever did. It does not come with a big boom. It comes with floods and fires and other types of disasters. According to the World Health Association, one out of seven people in the world today die premature death directly resulting from pollution. So we need to unite together once again and fight climate change.